glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are having a fantastic day so far. And as always, thank you for coming. Um, I thought this word was for me because there's a green light that the Lord just gave me that I got to move. I got to make some moves. But the Lord says that he wanted me to go back to the word that I released about seven months ago. I believe it's titled something like, it's time to leave. You're getting ready to serve a hungry people, a people that are hungry for the gifts that God has given you, the people that are hungry for the word that is in your belly that they need to hear from you. And so I will link that video to this one so you guys know that this word already went forth. But now there's a sense of urgency, people of God. The Lord is saying that now that we are in this new shift, um, the elevation, the new positions, the positions of prominence, the positions of promotion, the Lord is saying that it's now time to move. God says it's time to move. And he says that you need to be ready to go. The Lord had me go back and read the book of Luke chapter four. And if you know what the story is about Jesus, after he was tempted in the wilderness by Satan for 40 days and 40 nights, he started his ministry. And you all know that Jesus is from the town of what? Nazareth. Nazareth. And he moved to Galilee to where he began to preach the word of God. The Lord is saying that there are going to be some of you that are going to be called unexpectedly. You're going to be called and contacted suddenly to move. You're going to have to move people of God to another place. You're going to have to shift completely into a new arena. You're going to have to shift completely into another whole place to pursue what this is that God is calling you to do. When Jesus was in Nazareth, he was rejected. There were people that believed that he performed signs and miracles but they kept asking him for a sign. They kept asking him to prove himself over and over again. They would not believe that Jesus, they refused to believe that he was the Messiah. And so he was led by God to leave his hometown. The Bible says that a prophet is a stranger in his own home. And so Jesus had to leave Nazareth and he moved to Galilee. And so the Lord is saying for your next assignment, I don't know who this word is for, but God says that you all already have an idea that you're going to have to move. God said you've already received some kind of notice that you're going to have to change your zip code. You're going to have to change where you live. You're going to have to shift out of what you used to do, what you were comfortable with doing into doing something else. You're going to do something completely different. And the Lord is giving you the spiritual gift, okay, to be able to complete this assignment with the gift that you have. God has even given you a new gift. God has even heightened and elevated the gift that you have. And as a result of God promoting you in the spirit realm, you will now be able to pursue this specific assignment that the Lord has for you to do. So God is saying, be prepared, child of God, to make the sudden move. He says he will give you provision if you don't already have it. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. God is saying that he's going to give you the grace to go. He's going to give you provision to go. And he says to come to him to get your plan and get your strategy. But it is getting ready to happen. And I even hear the Lord saying that because this is a new month of dreams, many of you know that we have entered into the month of Kislev and this is the month of dreams. So don't be surprised if the Lord speaks to you via dream, if the Lord speaks to you via vision and gives you a snapshot, gives you a strategy, gives you instructions, gives you permission to pursue, or he's calling you in this to come to him to talk about this next assignment. You guys know that the Lord has already released words concerning your new assignments, right? And so this assignment that is coming is going to require for you to leave your hometown. So it may be a physical hometown that you may have to leave, or there may be a job that you may have to leave. There may be a specific assignment that you've been doing for quite some time that you may have to leave. There is a shift in the spiritual realm where you are no longer going to be effective 
where you are because where you are, you are being made required to do something that God does not want you to do. You are being made required like Jesus to prove yourself, to compromise, okay, to go backwards, to disobey God. And the Lord is saying that your time where you are is no longer effective. And so he's going to move you to the next place, the place of Galilee. Many of you are going to go to multiple locations. Many of you are going to have multiple assignments in this new arena. And when you go to where you're going, where God is taking you, you're going to have a new voice for them. The people are going to have a desire to hear your voice. The people are going to have a desire to receive your products. The people are going to have a desire to hear your advice, to be mentored by you, to be counseled by you, to be taught by you, to be encouraged by you. The people are going to have a hunger for your presence, just as it was when Jesus got to the land of Galilee. The people were happy to receive from him. They didn't want him to leave. Jesus had to tell them, listen, I can't stay here. I'm on assignment. The same for you, child of God. This is an assignment. You won't be here that long, but you will be there long enough that the Lord finds you to be effective. And when your assignment is up here, when your season is up in this new thing, then God will let you know when it's time to move. God will let you know when it's time to move on to your next assignment, okay? So get ready, people of God, to hear from the Lord in these next few weeks, maybe a couple months. A lot of you are going to be walking into your new, even in the new year of 2023. You're going to begin to receive correspondences. Some of you phone calls, maybe mail. Some of you may even get an email, okay? I hear email where someone is going to contact you. And so the Lord says, with all of these correspondences, make sure you seek him first. Don't just take on the assignment and don't just agree to do it. Don't just partner, right? Don't just automatically connect. But God says, bring it to him and he will let you know if this is something that you need to do. God says, for many of you, it is time to leave. It is time for you to leave your hometown and go to the land of Galilee. This is your new assignment. This is your new position, okay? This is your promoted place. This is your elevated place place. This is the expanded place that the Lord has been speaking to you about. Okay. So please take heed to this word because you don't want to miss it. One thing about God, if he asks you to do something and you don't do it, guess what he going to do? He going to move on to the next person. God gives us a free will. He gives us the freedom to choose what we want to do. And so you need not want to be like Luke, I believe chapter eight, where it says, when you don't do things that God asks you to do and you're not obedient, what happens? He will take your ability away from you to be able to operate in what he's given you. When you're not utilizing your gifts the way the Lord has called you to use them, you can get into a place to where you are in error. You can come into a place where you're speaking heresy and all kinds of things. You don't operate in the gifts that God has given you correctly because you're not utilizing them according to the will of God. So when you get notice, people of God, please answer God. Be obedient and do what he tells you to do. He says, don't worry. He will make provision for you. He will tell you what you need to do. Don't worry about your family. He's got somebody to take care of that. Don't worry about that bill. He's got somebody to take care of that. God said he got you and all he needs from you is a yes. Okay. So it's time to go. God is getting ready to call you to the land of Galilee. Okay. So get ready, get ready, get ready. People of God, that is the word from the Lord today. Remember we are here on purpose to glorify God and Jesus holy name. And let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you for this notice. And we pray, Lord God, that when you call us, we will answer. We will hear you clearly, Father. We will come to you and get our instructions and our plans. We thank you, Lord, for entrusting us with your assignments and your positions in your kingdom. We thank you, Lord, for blessing our hands and providing provision. We thank you for sending the angels, Lord God, to minister to us and protect us in these new places where we are headed. Father, we ask that you will never leave leave us nor forsake us and that you will continue to lead and guide us in every way that we should go. Father, we just give you all glory and we love you for loving us more than we love our own selves. We give you honor and we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray amen and amen. So people of God, I love you guys. I want you to have a blessed day. Okay, bye.